beauties, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you some of the best red lipsticks available and give you some helpful tips for finding the right shade for you. Red is classic, perfect for the holidays, but of course it can also be very intimidating and overwhelming. There are so many shades to choose from, even if you narrow down to your favorite brand. Now, there are no rules when it comes to makeup, yet in my experience, I find that sometimes people believe that there's a super scientific mathematical equation that can be done to determine the right shade of red for them, but I'm sad to say that's simply not how it works. So first and foremost, I just wanna empower you to trust your gut, wear the shade of red lipstick that makes you feel the most beautiful. That is truly as complicated as it needs to be. Makeup is just that simple. But of course, if you don't own a lot of lipsticks or you're not used to wearing a lot of makeup, you probably need some helpful guidelines. So that's where I'm going to begin. When we apply basic color theory to makeup, if we split the color wheel into two categories, warm colors and cool colors, it can help us determine the right shade of lipstick. So if you're looking for a shade of lipstick that will complement your skin tone, you wanna choose something with a similar or the same undertone. For example, if you have very fair skin and a pink undertone, go with a red lipstick that's a pinkish red or a raspberry red. Or you can find something to contrast or create a pop of color, in which case you wanna go with the opposite undertone. If you have a very dark complexion, almost a bluish undertone, you could go with a warm coral red that will really stand out against your skin. If you went with something more bluish toned, like a Merlot or a wine type of red, it's still going to look very beautiful, but it's going to be more natural and complementary versus contrasting and poppy. What a lot of brands have done is create their own version of the perfect red, a sort of iconic shade for the brand that's intended to be best suited for all skin tones. So what we're going to do today is swatch them all side by side to compare. So starting with Chanel, I would say the most popular shade that isn't limited edition has to be number 99 Pirate, which does happen to be a very blue based red, but it's just always a top seller. The second most popular red lipstick from Chanel has to be number 444 Gabrielle. This is the Rouge Coco formulation. It's creamy, it's pigmented. It's not incredibly long wearing, but it still lasts a very long time. And this is of course the namesake lipstick of Gabrielle Coco Chanel. And it is a true universal neutral red. This holiday season, we also have the limited edition number five lipstick that comes in the Rouge Allure Velvet formula. It's almost the matte version of last year's number one, which was a Rouge Allure. Both are very neutral, very flattering, classic red shades, and they both come in the beautiful red lacquered packaging. Next up is Dior 999. This is the classic Christian Dior Muse red lipstick. They even created an entire franchise around it, so there's a 999 blush, and this shade is available in just about every single lipstick formula offered by Dior. My personal favorite is the liquid lipstick. When it comes to YSL, they have the classic red Rouge Number no. 1. It's pretty simple, it's number one, it's called Rouge. This is their classic go-to red lipstick. It's available in their Rouge Per Couture, so it's a beautiful, creamy, pretty long-wearing lipstick formula in the beautiful gold packaging. Next up is Giorgio Armani number no. 400. I believe this shade is also available in other lipstick formulas, but there is this beautiful romantic story about how long it took to create this perfect red intended to replicate the inside of a red rose. So it's this beautiful story, and this is the Lip Maestro version. So it's a very creamy, almost lip souffle, if you will. It's a beautiful, true red. Chanel Pirate, Chanel Gabrielle, Chanel Number no. 5, Chanel Number no. 1, Dior 999, YSL Rouge Number no. 1, and then this last one is Giorgio Armani 400. And next I just have a few honorable mentions. These are also some of my favorites. So we have the NARS Liquid Lipstick. This is the shade Don't Stop. It's a very thin formula, so you have to be careful. You can't tip over the tube or it will actually spill out. But the color itself is so gorgeous. It's a very sort of 
deep true red but very beautiful and incredibly long wearing it does get a little bit drying but as long as you keep a gloss or some sort of lip conditioner on standby you'll be fine and the color is worth it Tom Ford Velvet Cherry is another lipstick color that I know I've mentioned before on my channel. This is my favorite luxurious, deep, sort of vampy wine red. It's very dramatic. It's perfect for the evenings. It's also a matte formula, so you're going to want to make sure that your lips are perhaps exfoliated beforehand, definitely conditioned and moisturized, or you can always top it off with a gloss, but the color itself is so beautiful. And of course, the Tom Ford packaging is stunning. The Guerlain Rouge G lipsticks completely took me by surprise. This one is number 28. It's a little bit more of a warm coral red, but I know they have plenty of shades to choose from. More neutral reds, blue-based reds, pink reds. They're gorgeous, all of them. The formula is incredibly creamy and it is so long wearing. I'm talking about through lunches, through coffee breaks, it's still on your lips. And the cases are really cute. You can Choose whichever ones that you want. They're interchangeable. They have several different cases and they all have the little compact mirror. So it's a great little gift and the quality of this lipstick is outstanding. You really cannot go wrong with any of these red lipsticks, but of course the perfect shade is the one that makes you feel the best. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me any of your comments, your questions down below. I want to hear from you guys what your favorite red lipstick is of all time. Let me know down below. Of course, I will be linking all of these lipsticks as well as all of the products that I used today on my face down in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe.